Well, I pulled the sled out for the first time this season once we got enough snow, and I have this uh, weird issue where it will cut out at any throttle position, you know, whether it just be here and then you go to accelerate and it'll cut out. Uh, it, it's like as if somebody hit your kill switch for a split second. It damn near throws you over the handlebars, and after I crushed my nuts on it the final time, I pulled her back in and uh, ripped her apart. So, first thing I thought, it could be my clutch. And, well, I pulled the clutch off, looked at it, it needed to be rebuilt, so I bought a six tower, and that's on the way. But it, it, it seems like it's more electrical than mechanical, you know, like somebody sitting in your kill switch, like I said. So, I checked the wiring, I spent a good hour or two checking that, and it, it's pretty mangled in there because it's all apart right now, but... Everything seemed good. There's nothing rubbing up against anything, con no broken connectors. So that was out of the picture. Then I checked my reed pedals. Nothing wrong in there on both sides. You can't really see that well. You know, big awkward phone can't fit down there too well without the uh, proper lighting. And I pulled the throttle body off because that's the only thing it could, thing it could be. There's a uh, throttle position sensor on there that likes to go bad. And, oh, one more thing. I did check the APVs, and they were clean. They were adjusted properly. They weren't put in upside down. Spark plugs were also changed, so. And then, here's everything I took off. Took me about 45 minutes to do. Um, probably take a lot longer putting it back in, getting everything set up right, because that's a bitch to do. But um, I'll be right back, and I'll get into the shop where I have the throttle body. Okay, here's the throttle body. There's the hardware inside the uh, valve there. Get that all out. But um, right here is where the TPS would sit. Basically, would go on like that. And you can adjust them, but you need a special tool to do that. And basically, if you rotate it back or forth, you know, it changes the uh, voltage at certain throttle speeds. So here I have a uh, paper that a piece of printout paper from a user manual that was that I used for moment out the TPS. And the first thing I noticed, the idle is supposed to be between. 723 to 977 ohms so when I did that mine was at like 600 something so I knew something was a little odd there and I even tried backing off my idle uh, my idle bolt there completely and it was you know no luck so as I moved the throttle you know it, it the homage would just spark up and down and you know it's third certain throttle positions it would just be at zero so but after i got out of that uh, quarter throttle half throttle range everything would turn back to normal so and this thing doesn't look bad i mean i don't know much about electronics but not, nothing's corroded nothing's broken in there so and i you can't adjust these effectively without the Articat TPS adjustment tool which basically it's really easy to use those you plug them in and you hook up your uh, ohm meter to the uh, tool and then it just basically all you got to do is twist it and it reads it real easy um, but I didn't trust myself to put put a new one in there and you can't get a new one of these uh, from Articat they don't sell them you got to buy the whole assembly from them but um, I bought a used throttle body off of eBay, and I'm hoping that'll work. And if it doesn't or does work, I'll let you guys know. Because so many complaints of some, you know, low-end, mid-end, mid-throttle cutout. And nobody seems to know what the freaking answer is. I mean, I spent hours on the internet last night trying to figure out what the problem was and just couldn't find it so hope I'm hoping this is the culprit so I'll be back when I have the throttle body and everything else thanks for watching